dude, I had such a good time. It was a blast. Uh, it, it was the best game to, to, to go to. It was fans appreciation night. And at the same time, they clinched the playoffs. Everyone was just going wild. It was so much fun. Plus, there was a lot of hot, lot of hot chicks there. Okay, another guy wants me to show my safe. I've shown my safe before. This is like a request video, you know what I mean? Half. Anyway, <clears throat> this is my safe. Uh, you know, I look at it this way. I mean, if, if you don't have the money for like a heavy safe that weighs like thousands of pounds, uh, you can get one of these for like four to five hundred dollars. Uh, what's good about these is uh, it has a 30 minute fire fire limit, so it's not that bad. And uh, but you have to bolt them down. I mean, I got a concrete floor here and a solid concrete wall, and it's all bolted down. So you have to do that. If you don't, someone could just put this on a dolly and wheel it right out. <laughs> so here's the safe. And this was originally the lighting sucks. This was an originally a 14 gun safe, but I made it like a 30 gun safe because what I did was I got a uh, uh, a gray sweatshirt and some um, 3m spray glue and a 1 by 12 shelving and I put that in there and I just wrapped wrapped it looks like it came with it you know what I mean so I added two shelves to the safe it only comes with one and then I put these pegs on the side of the door and they're plastic pegs I took the fireboard off and put these plastic pegs in the door so now I can hang like two four six seven I can hang eight guns on the door now, you know, that's not even supposed to be there, so there's eight guns there. Um, the lighting sucks in the safe. I don't know if you can see it. So I got I got three shells for handguns, I got a door for handguns, and then there's all my rifles. All my rifles. I ain't got much anymore, because the Ed Brown really kicked my ass. But that's my safe. It's a real basic safe. You can get these at Home Depot. And they're nice. It's nice. You know, it's better than one of those cheap locker cabinet gun safes. I mean, they, them things are just too too cheap. I wouldn't put your, you know, expensive guns in there. But at least this is fireproof. It's insulated. And uh, I got desiccant pads in there to control the moisture. All kinds of stuff. Okay. All right, let's see what's in these packages. All right, came home, opened my door, and I see these two puffy envelopes in the door. Don't you love that? Is that the best or what? Especially when you're in a bad mood, it'll make your friggin' day. And I have a feeling both of these envelopes are for my Glock, which I know they are. And I told you, uh, the first uh, recoil spring I got from Brass Stacker was my fault. I didn't specifically tell the guy I wanted a black one. And I called him up and told him I wanted a black one. You guys remember that video, what was that, a couple days ago? He already sent me a black one. Okay, that's, that's, that's good customer service. Steve from North Carolina. I mean, come on. So, uh, let's open this up. It should be a black one for the Glock 21. Damn, man, I really wanted to get to the range today, but it should happen, you know what I mean? I just had a shitload of Fruit Loops. I had like a big friggin' elephant bowl of Fruit Loops. All right. All right, there it is. Black. Very nice. From Brass Stacker. Jesus. I mean, is that fast service or what? That's what it's all about. All right. Gave me some business cards. Smart guy. That's good. And here's his uh, catalog. They make a lot of things for the Moisin Nagant rifle. All kinds of shit for that. You guys got to check out the website. Really cool stuff. Okay, anything else in there? Very good. Okay, now let's see what this is. I think this is my honey plug. We just hit 35,000 subs. I want to thank you guys for subbing. I really appreciate it. All it does is help the channel out. It helps everything. It helps me out. Now, when you get a honey plug, when you get a honey plug, you got to go Glockmeister. They make the best ones. Okay. Okay, and this should be for the Glock 21. I hope they got it right. Yes, they did. And Glockmeister marks all their stuff. It all says Glockmeister on it. So we'll put the Heine plug in. Always make sure your firearm's safe. Remember, guys, you got to 
we got to put ourselves in check again. You know what I'm saying, guys? These guns are fun. They're cool, and and uh, that's our hobby. But you got to remember what they are. Really, you got to remember what they are. It's, it's just a, it's a it's a weapon. It's a deadly weapon, and you always respect it. Just got every once in a while I say that because you got to put everyone back in check again. Because I get goofy too. I, you know, you think they're toys. You know, you're playing. You know, you know. There's a lot of people have mistakes and. Uh, have negligent discharges because they're, they're forgetting what they're dealing with you know what I mean because they're so fascinated by putting all the parts on it making it look cool and this and that but don't forget what this is for okay and remember once the bullet leaves the barrel it's not coming back so please be safe I'm not a safety Sally but I am a safety Sally you know what I mean I don't preach it a lot because I don't think it's that necessary because I know you guys you know you ain't stupid you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and stick my finger in there. That's ridiculous when I see people do that. You look in there, there's nothing in there. I'm gonna stick my pinky in there. That's that's to me that's 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 ridiculous. Unless you have unless you're blind, then okay, then stick your finger in there. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the hiney plug in. Uh, it's very simple, it just pushes in and snaps in there. Okay. Well it was very simple. T you get arthritis then it then it's fucked up. Man, you're a dork. Okay, now we need to mail it. Usually they're simple to put in. I, I ain't got no squeeze power, you know. You get to lose that squeeze power to get the arthritis. There we go. Damn, what a homo. Sorry. All right. There it is. Doesn't that look a lot nicer? Huh? Look at the difference. Makes the gun look solid, don't it? Nice solid look. Just figure I'd show you the difference the Heine plug makes, and it's only seven dollars. Seven dollars. Excellent. They make it looks so good. They, they make their parts so good. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put in my uh, Mazda Duel over here. My uh, the right gun spring rod. If you notice the plastic ones, look, look at this. See how they don't stay in there? It doesn't matter really, and it, and it, it's nothing's gonna happen. It'll still fire, but I just don't like they don't lock in tight like that. These metal ones, I guess because the posts don't give, it, it doesn't give it all, it, it locks it in nice and tight, more firm. And this is the black one now. That's what I wanted. Now he corrected that problem quick, didn't he? Steve, you're the man. I didn't expect to get this already. That's unbelievable. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, we got to get this back to the range and make sure it operates good with the new recoil spring, which I know it will. Okay, this Glock is hooked up. Now, the only thing left I want to do is get some extended tabs so I can take the slide off easier. And then uh, this is good to go. This pistol's ready. Okay, so it's just a stupid video today. A couple requests, guys wanted to see the safe, and I just wanted to let you know I wanted to go to the range, but it just didn't happen because you know, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself what I just told you. That's why I couldn't go. I wanna thank Hasman, Paul, my buddy Paul Hasman. Dude, I got the catalogs, I really appreciate that. Thank you, and once again, I wanna thank, man, he's Paul, I guess Paul's are good dudes. Paul from Paul from New Jersey, man. Dude, I, I can't thank you enough. That Flyers game was incredible. It was the perfect night. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, tomorrow we will bring this. Where is it? This. Beautiful. Beautiful. Going here. I love this thing. Beautiful M9. And we'll bring it with the 18 round mag because uh, that's the mag I keep in there all the time. I want to make sure it's reliable. Uh, I'll try to fill it up once in a while and uh, make sure it runs all right. You should be allowed to do that because uh, got to test the mag out. But uh, so far, this has been flawless zero failures, 225. We'll put another 50, maybe another 100 rounds. We'll see what my ammo stack's like, my ammo uh, inventory is like. And there's another gun you can get a steel rod for. See how that's, that's got the plastic rod? But it's a strong plastic rod. So I don't know. I might get one for that too. 
We'll see. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Sorry I didn't get to the range, but uh, we'll get there tomorrow. All right, later.